Hello, Namaste, how are you all today? This video demonstrates simple flowers using one stroke painting technique with round brush. And uh, today I am using only straight pressure stroke. So only this uh, stroke I will use and create uh, beautiful flowers. But before I start my this project, I can say uh, I have one little request. First of all, thanks everyone for watching my videos. I, I really appreciate from bottom of my heart and uh, appreciating my effort. I have only one request, one tiny request. If you really appreciate my efforts, then please subscribe my channel. Because when I see my analytic, when I see the data, who is watching my videos and who is not, the maximum views I am get, getting from unsubscribed viewers. So it's really strange because you are my regular viewers, but you have not subs uh, subscribed my channel. So it, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe my channel and it might be really helpful to me and it will motivate me more and trust me really trust me that subscribing my channel is completely free <laughs> yeah you can trust me on that <laughs> okay so okay so back to my today's video okay sorry no pressure if you want to subscribe it will really helpful to me but if you decide against it that is your choice i really respect your choice so okay back to today's video um in one of my old video i have talked about straight pressure stroke curve pressure stroke straight comma stroke and curve comma stroke and same time i have demonstrated how to double load round brush and if you have not seen my that video then link is in description box why i suggest you should first watch my that video because there are so many terms i will i might use in this video that you can't relate or you can't understand what i'm talking about so if possible please go and watch my that video first because this video is only like i'm practicing and sharing my practice with all of you i'm not teaching actually anything in this video but if you are a new learner you are a beginner like me this would be very helpful to you so yeah in this video i am doing little practice using as i said straight pressure stroke and today i am using multi surface animals uh, enamel from folk art in colors um, the colors are look at me blue yeah that's the color <laughs> wicker white classic green and uh, lime green i am using round brush number 6 from dela rowney look at me blue oh blue why are you not looking at me <laughs> i don't know who keep this kind of name anyways for my this project i want white as a loading color and look at me blue as tipping color and uh, <laughs> sorry and first i check the look and i am happy with the shade i am getting so let's start our project if you want you can practice with me whatever color you have no need you have to use uh, the exactly same color the way i am using so yeah what i did at first uh, i created cluster of few straight pressure strokes it is more like a cluster of flowers so randomly i created flower birds type of petals uh, using straight pressure strokes and uh, here i created two such petal clusters um, if you want you can create one cluster two cluster three cluster as many as you want but um, how it looks to like uh, i want to find out how it looks so for a um, st starting point i have created two clusters um okay and here very ran as i said very randomly i created those clusters and uh, once the clusters were done um then i took a q-tip or a earbud 
and dip that into dark blue acrylic color and create a dot at the end of those stroked petals and i really like the contrast of um, light blue white dark blue and uh, now using finer tip brush i created small dots around uh, those dark blue and um, for uh, that small dots i created using look at me blue and white color as you can see i am not comfortable with um, fine liner brush and i think i have to do more practice with this tiny brushes and i am using number 2 fine liner brush here from dela rauni and uh, or i no 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 it's not from dela rauni it's from a uh, blade okay again i put those dots very randomly and uh, i am just practicing the control over brush because um i realize that if we keep looking for perfection shown by other artist then it actually dishearten us or discourage us when we see we cannot have perfect strokes like them or control on brush like them but i realize that it's only practice and to practice better we should actually come up with project or design and then it makes more sense when we put everything together it makes uh, more sense instead of only keep practicing strokes uh, individually and as we know those artists whom we are watching on um, youtube or wherever it is they have practice of so many years and like continuous practice it's not like they have become so sharp and perfect in like within like over a night as for my henna video like people says oh we want to learn exactly the same way like you the line you come up uh, line you draw and everything so for like um like henna when people tell me oh we want exactly fine line like you the control over cone like you so they are beginners so i can understand how frustrated and how um this heart and sometimes they feel when they can't draw perfect design or very nice and neat and clean design because exactly same feeling i have when i watch those um paint uh, painters like one stroke painters or whoever like other painters who have more control over brush so the the feeling is exactly same and when i keep telling my viewers that practice is the only way the same thing i understood the same way like uh, in painting also practice is the only way and for that reason i have started from very basic stroke and that is straight pressure stroke and now i can see i am getting control over my strokes and brush and that is motivating to practice more as i keep telling my uh, henna artists all beginners that start from the basic so for painting also we have to start from the basic and go slowly take one thing at a time and once you master that small thing then your confidence increase so that's what i have decided to do this time so i would suggest same uh, same thing to all those beginner artists who are very much uh, fascinated by one stroke painting like with a flat brush uh, but feeling uh, same thing like uh, disheartened by their disastrous attempt like specially many get attracted to flat brush one stroke painting and i know from my experience that it's not easy the way it look so i like i decided to start with round brush first and once i learn how to use and control brush then i can easily use flat brush that's my point of view because i from my experience i can see that um, it's very easy to control round brush than flat brush okay after my petals were ready i connected them with classic green color using one uh, fine liner brush and as you can see yes i need more practice to use the fine liner brush and that's why i kept changing liner brush as i was not happy with line i was getting but uh, anyways it looks nice not that bad <laughs> what do you all think yeah you all have to tell me how it looks so yeah now only thing remaining is few leaves then this entire drawing will look complete 
so first i drew outline where i wanted to draw leaves and then using lime green as a loading color and a classic green as a tipping color i drew a uh, two three cluster of leaves and again i used straight pressure stroke for these leaves because i am practicing my straight pressure stroke yeah so let's see the way i created flower cluster i can create leaves or not so i think for leaves i need more control okay anyways this type of project give practice to draw strokes in all directions and that's what i'm doing here again with a look at me blue color i drew few petals uh, like uh, spread around and uh, main cluster uh, like around the main cluster and here i am just practicing all strokes so creating design as per the moment without anything particular in my mind and i feel this type of design i can paint on t-shirts or scarves or i think wine glasses or flower vase or anywhere i think so many things i can decorate with this simple flower painting yep great idea next time i i should attempt something else instead of drawing blocks so let me know how do you like my this practice video and uh, if you use this idea and come up with something new please do share with us on our facebook page or instagram so it could be motivating idea for all of us so with this i take your leave now till we meet again see you bye bye till we meet again thank you everyone for watching my video see you bye bye mm -mm -mm. please subscribe my channel like comment and share Bye-bye. Thank you.